let's give it a good old try. Thanks! <laughs> Picango. Do you want to uh, pick up the pace a bit, my dude? Up here? Is it going to be like up where these waterfalls are flowing from or something? You're going to tell me to fly over there or what? So tired. Hills aren't easy for old fogies like me. I don't think I can go on. Should be along the path that leads past the shrine. That's what I've been told. Completely out of breath. Better rest for a bit. Go ahead. If you find it, get a picture. Okay. I have been here before, right? Well, I mean, I've done that shrine. Did I do that shrine and then I, like, climbed up there and then didn't actually, like, explore along this way? Which path does he... He said follow the path. Which path does he mean? Because they immediately split off into two. What the fuck is this? Boy. Sweet boy. Please. Listen to my story. Sure. Oh, wait, this is it. I am the great fairy Koterra. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Uh, uh what? <laughs> uh, now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me, quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 100 rupees. This feels like a scam. Is this a scam? I mean, we have 500, so sure, let's try. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that looks pretty ornate. How did I not go here? What the fuck? I don't understand how I didn't see this before. I was literally right next to it. Because I was at the shrine and the shrine is right next to it. How did I not see this path? What the fuck? Oh. Ha! Gotta, I've got to change my voice. I can't, can't do a lower sounding voice like this anymore. Ah. Oh, what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Mm. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Sure. Which clothing item would you like me to enhance? Huh. Okay. This takes... Ah, oh, this is what the horns and the... Yeah, okay, okay, I see. This is what these things uh, are used for. I did wonder. 
Uh, well, sure. If it just costs ah. those. You want me to enhance the trousers? Yep. Mm. All right, let me do my thing. <sighs> boop, 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 boop. The soft fabric makes a great fairy has increased their defense by one level, so you can do it multiple times. There's a little star above it now, I guess it indicates the one upgrade. All finished, just a bit stronger now. Oh, you've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all been enhanced twice could have a bonus. But only if you wear the whole set? Well, and not all sets have a bonus. Oh, well that's just rude. So you gotta, you gotta... Enhance stuff and just hope. I mean, these have climb speed up bonuses if I wear this one. A full set is just... Oh, wait, no, no. What am I on about? Uh, this is... I always think these are part of the same set, but they're not. They just, they look like they are. Like, they really look like they are. But this one's Hylian, this one's Climbers. So I... I think they have the same name if they're part of the same set, right? Yeah, like this is highly in trousers, this is highly in tunic. Um, huh. I actually can't upgrade that again. Necessary materials, shit I haven't encountered yet, I guess. Interesting. Ah. Mm. Uh, no, I'm good. I have sisters out there in the world. Like me, they've lost much of their power. If you were able to restore power to them as well, we'd then be able- Oh, okay. We'd then be able to enhance your clothing even more. So I have to pay 100 to each of these people and- Two fairies means two levels of upgrades. Three fairies means three levels of upgrades, etc. I guess. See you later. Okay. <laughs> Why does it look like teeth? <laughs> Why does this look like teeth? That's a bit unnerving. Okay, cool. I don't know how I managed to miss that the first time, but uh, whatever. We got it now. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, where does this lead then? Out onto the plains? That deer just vanished right in front of my eyes. Okay, that block's a different colour to the rest. Why? Hmm. They are almost identical. I take the block off of there and I put it in there. And I get a Korok for it. Yup. Oh right, I was gonna go see the Korok dude. Wait, seven? I thought the thing said I had... More than that. Didn't I have like nine or something? Westgate. Do I recognize that from one of the pictures? Oh. 
I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? Yiga clan? What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The Yiga clan, it's... A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero thought lo Oh. Um... I'll just be, uh... I'll just be going. <clears throat> I will take your life. Oh, hi. Okay. You tried. Ow. Okay, I need I need a faster weapon than this. Yeah. Um Actually, let's try the Actually, no. It would take too long to charge up. Let's just use the claymore, I guess. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Man, he is so fucking hard to hit. He moves so fast and Link is so fucking slow in this game. God damn it. On. I'm pressing the fucking jump button to try and get the flurry attack, and it's just not happening. What a fucking annoying enemy. Oh, how is that not a flurry rush? I fucking perfectly did that. Okay, do I have to... Can you not hit him? Like, I hit him once, but I can't seem to actually hit him again. It doesn't seem possible. Fuck me, this is such an irritating fucking enemy. Yeah, it's just a bow fight, that's it. Huh. <sighs> Hope we don't run into many of those. Mighty Bananas. Very nice. And a Vicious Sickle, a grim weapon favoured by the Yiga. The half moon shaped of the blade allows for the rapid delivery of fatal wounds and serves as a symbol of their terror. Low durability though, don't care. Boop. 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 <laughs> Oh, maybe not. Huh? What? He threw it behind him. Nailed it. What's with this one leaf thing here? Karok. Uh, where'd it go? I heard it. Got him. Right. 
Now, am I imagining it, or was I supposed to find this? Uh... <laughs> oh, maybe I'm thinking of that. I mean, it does look kind of similar. But not enough. Hmm. Haven't seen anything else that looks like any of these, have I? Don't believe so. That one's just like right in front of the castle. Some kind of oasis, some kind of ruins with... Huh, okay, that one should be easy to find because it's literally got a shrine there. And it's near the flying beastie boy. That one, looking at the two cracked mountains. That one's just right in front of the castle. Stonehenge down there, up to the right. A lot of them have the castle as like a marker, huh? As a, a place to orient yourself. Whoopsie. Big old bridge there. That's going to be one of the harder ones to find. I think. Because I don't think that's the bridge we've crossed already, right? Uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm not sure if that is Hyrule Castle or some other castle. Uh, that is a level up fountain surrounded by trees. That's a horsey boy. That is the one that I thought was this, but it's just similar architecture. That is... Okay, that's the hardest one. Literally just a random forest with absolutely no, like, nothing to latch onto. In terms of, like, scenery. Like, there's no castle in the background to give you something to, like... You know, oh, I'm here, so it must be nearby, kind of thing. It's just a random forest. Oh, I didn't take a picture of the fucking fairy spring for that dude. Well, whatever, we can do that when we go back. Um. Right. This looks kind of cool. Hi there, friends. <laughs> Wait, did they both get knocked off? I thought I only knocked one of them off. Where did the other one go? Did I did I knock them both off? Oh, I guess so. Get fucked. You've been fucked by the fuck patrol. You ready for this? Holy shit. Holy shit, he's done it. Blackened crab. Very nice. People everywhere fucking lose their minds. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. I'm suddenly thinking, was it that one? Am I am I being stupid? It just looks so similar because like this, I was just I just suddenly noticed the border that we have either side of us, which this also has a border either side of us, leading up to that. It can't be that. It's not that, is it? No, it's not, because that goes into trees past it, and a mountain in the background, which isn't what that is. But it just looks it looks so similar. Loving this. I don't think I want to... I want to get those because I now know they're upgrade mats, but... I also don't want to not be able to get back up, which... I'm not sure if that would be too steep for Link to climb. Like, there is a wall underneath the wall that I can see here, but, like, it would then be a... I don't, I don't know that he can jump from the first bit of the wall to the second bit, if that makes sense. 
So I'm going to stay up here. Hi. Sucks to suck, my friend. Oh shit. Oh shit. Spiked Poco Spear, I'm good. Hello? Shock arrow times ten? Hello? Hello? How many do I have now? Oh! I'm only four away. Aww. I'm only four away. There's a shrine over here? Laneru Promenade. Okay, now this is the exploration kind of feeling that people talk that people mean when they talk about. Huh. That is a very pink sun reflection on the water there. The sky is fairly pink, but that's like super pink. That's like neon. <laughs> this is the kind of exploration feel people are talking about when they talk about how exploring feels in this game. I haven't really had it until now. But now I have. This feels really cool, just like walking along and it's like right next to a place that I've already been and I just didn't find this and then suddenly there's this whole like ruins and shit down here. Like that does just feel really good. Whereas until now whenever I've tried to just explore randomly I just get fucked. But I have not been fucked here. Which is good. Love to not get fucked. Should I be worried about that? Oh, that's too far away. Oh, oh, hi. What? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Come to daddy. Got him. Yeah, I reckon that'll do it. Ha! Ah. Suck every dick. At the same time, simultaneously. Shit, I may have been a bit hasty. Actually, I can just get out here. If it's raining, you cannot climb the surface. But if you cover yourself in water and then jump on a wall, you are fine. Nice. I thought I had to aim way higher than I was aiming.
Bye. Blip. Blue. Blap. Wait, another Blood Moon already? We literally just had one. That's a bit soon. Wait, shit. Is it going to respawn everything I've literally just killed right here? I think it is, right? Come on, man. I just went through like 20 arrows on this shit. Are you literally going to spawn them right next to me? We literally just had a blood moon. Like, two episodes ago. Oh, fuck me. It really does. If you are in a place with enemies and a blood moon happens, they will just bring them right back just instantly. That is kind of shit. That is really shit, actually. Like, I just wasted, like, 20 arrows. If I'd just come here 10 minutes later, then I'd kill them all once. Is this a Korok? It is a Korok. Man, that sucks so hard. Lol? Okay, that's most of them. Is it up there? What is that? Is that an enemy? Is that an enemy in camouflage? Nice fucking try, dickhead. Nice fucking try. Damn, hoping for shock. Oh, it's raining. Right, you can't climb anything when it's raining. Great. Oh, I always forget and then I always rediscover the absolute joy. Oh, I can stand here. Just let me yeet myself up. Thank you. Fuck.
probably up higher. I feel like it should let you just like continuously jump. So instead of you jump and then you slide down a long way, I feel like it should let you jump, just jump, jump, jump without sliding as far as your stamina allows as a way to counteract the rain. Because I could make it up here with three jumps if I didn't slide down. But you do slide down, so I can't. God, I hate the rain. I do feel like that is a pretty objective bad thing in this game. That you can't climb when it's raining. Like, there's no reason for it to be in there. It doesn't add anything to the game that, like, just 25% of the time you cannot progress. Is it behind this waterfall? What's down here first? Or is it in here? Oh, it's in here. Okay. What is that blue rock over there? Do na a shrine. I mean, it is behind the waterfall. It's just another way of doing it. Am I going insane? Was one of these rocks not fucking bright blue? What? I guess I'm losing my mind. Go back in the video to when I first rounded this corner. I fucking swear one of those rocks was bright blue. Am I actually going insane? I'm going to have to check that. I'm going to have to check that in editing. I fucking... Is that just a bug, or am I actually seeing things? It's certainly possible. Boop. It is certainly possible. Okay, what we're going to do... Is we're going to leave off here so that I have something to look forward to when I, uh, as like a, as, a, as an opening. And hopefully, <laughs> imagine if it's a test of strength. Then I just cry. But hopefully it's a puzzle and we can start off next session continuing uh, the positive feeling that I'm having right now. That would be good. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thanks again. See you then.